grown. <laughs> like they say, I'm grown. You're you know, I'm gonna, it seems to me like you just turned pro yesterday. I mean, and now yeah, you may, right. you're maybe closer to your retirement than you are at the, at the beginning. Do you feel a sense of urgency? Urgency of what? To, to get as much accomplished as you can now that the end is kind of in no, sight? No? no? You don't listen, think about listen. that? I, I could have stayed at my weight class and fought a, for another world title against Gary Russell. That would have been a hell of a fight. It's, you know, similar style to him, Salpa, uh, flashy. And I could have probably beat him, you know, and, and become world champion again. I could have waited for the Frampton, uh, Warrington. That's another mega fight. I could have, I could have gone the uh, Leo Santa Cruz uh, third, third fight, big fight. Like, what am I doing on this side? It's a challenge for me. That's it. There's no urgency on me getting big fights in here and there because I have them. I, I'm in a good place as far as my promotion. I got the great advisor Al Heyman that can get me any fight I want. If I want to fight Tyson Fury tomorrow, I'll probably get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. But what I'm trying to say is that there's no urgency on my side. Like I know, and I, and and you could go back to last year or maybe even the year after that when they asked me, Abner, how many how many years you more, you see yourself? I'm a smart man. I know what I'm doing. I see myself doing this two more years. Good. That third year, if I'm still like, mm, if I feel like okay, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm smart. I'm not gonna be stupid and take on tough decision like this. You know, probably take easy fights. And then you know I'm really like. But I got two hard, potential, big years that that uh, definitely gonna put the stamp on on my on my legacy and on my name. So no urgency whatsoever yet. You're a veteran of the sport already. Um, this is correct me if I'm wrong. This will be your fourth fight with uh Robert. This will be my third. Third? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jesus Cuellar was the first one. Okay, Leo. Oh no, and I'm no, sorry. It is fourth. your fourth. Yeah, yeah. against Gutierrez. Okay. How much have you learned being in Robert's camp? Uh, a lot. A lot. Just. I'm, a, I'm, I'm already a coach, you know, I get retired and be a coach and actually coach because it's just the way he talks to you, the way he, 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 he presents himself as far as a coach and, and throws certain, certain you know, uh, ways of fighting is simple. You know, he's basic. Coach is basic. He's not your Peter Pat, you know, look good on, on the mid work. Um, straight to the point. He's, he's straight to, to what you need work on, you know what I'm saying? So when I say I'm, I'm ready to be a coach, we talked about this yesterday because they said, hey coach, what if you were to come back and fight, you know, again? What do you, would you like in your corner? And he said, oh, maybe Abner, because Abner's got a good eye, you know, and, and I've learned a lot from him, you know, going in the corner and, and, and seeing things. So I've just learned a lot as a, as a, as a fighter and as a, as a human being. Victoria or derrota, 